Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to run two-dimensional limit equilibrium stability analysis using slide 2 software from Rock Science Company. First thing we go to analysis and project settings. We make sure that the units that we are using uh, is correct and then we make sure that the failure direction is the correct one based on our geometry. In this example, the failure that I'm expecting is from right to left so I, I'm gonna leave it as it is the soil profile I can skip this part scenario leave it as, as a default multiple scenarios for the method I'm gonna use uh, three different methods as, sh as shown here to estimate the factor of safety for the groundwater I'm gonna use water surface and maximum negative pore water pressure zero and that's it the first step in this analysis is to define the geometry the second step is to define the material property and then define the slip surface limits and then run for or run to calculate the factor of safety. So let's start with the external boundary to define the geometry. You can click here to add external boundary by mouse or you can enter the coordinates here in this box at the bottom right corner of the screen. For example, if you draw by hand, you can just draw anything and then right click uh, edit coordinates and then you can edit these coordinates that you just draw by hand. In this example, I'm just going to use this coordinates box. It's more easy for me. So the first coordinate is 5 and 0. The second one is 100, 0 and then 134, 136. 140, 67, 40, 43, 28, 5, 28, 5, 18, 5, 16. I zoom out to see the model. So this is the correct model. Again, there are different methods to define the geometry. This is just one of them. The second method, which is going to be much easier, is to define the geometry and the, 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 the material property, sorry, the, the geometry and the material uh, boundaries using, uh, for example, um, uh, AutoCAD or Civil 3D, and then you can import your geometry from here as a DXF file. Okay, so this is just an example. Now we define the material the external geometry now it's time to define the second uh, the, to define the material the soil profile or if we have multiple soils we can define it now so we click on define material from here or we can go to material and add material boundary actually um, yeah you can define it here by using this icon or you can just go boundary and add material boundary okay so I'm gonna right click and choose the coordinates table and I'm gonna enter the coordinates the same way as I did before so 5 16 134 so this is similar the way that I did for defining the external boundary here I'm using the same methods to define the material inside that geometry okay so this is the first line and then we can define the second one by going here Five, eighteen, one hundred thirty-six. 18 136 so this is the new layer that I want to the new soil layers okay now uh, in this case I'm gonna add uh, add a water table so we go to uh, there are different ways to define it you can go here or you can go to boundary and add water table so it's asking me here enter the vertex, vertex vertex you can also enter it here or you just right click and then coordinate table 
and define your water table uh, as shown on the screen Once you're done, click on OK. So as you can see, we define the water table. And after you click, right click and enter, it's going to ask you, you're going to have this window to ask you about where do you want to assign the water table to which material? In this case, um, I'm going to choose just all material and click OK. And I go to, now it's, I need to define the material that uh, I have so I go to property define materials I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two materials first one I'm just gonna call it anything soil one this one has unit weight of 90 friction angle uh, friction angle is 20 cohesion is 28.5 kilopascal okay so friction is 20 degree cohesion 28.5 the second material I'm gonna call it weak layer or any you can call it whatever weak layer you can change the color from here uh, the unit weight is 18.5 I'm gonna use strength type more column there are many different strength type you can choose from from the list but for this analysis both soils I'm gonna use more column okay cohesion for this one is zero and the friction angle the friction angle is to a 10 okay click on okay so we define the material yes but we haven't assigned the material that we defined in the system to the our to our model so to do that we know we go to here assign property or you can go here and then click on assign property so now the default is already assigned to the entire model which is this one you can see here the one that I'm gonna assign here is gonna choose I'm gonna choose weak layer from the list I'm gonna assign it here okay click OK save so we assigned our material property to our models and we already also assigned the water table now we can go and choose which surface we want so I'm gonna I'm just gonna add another scenario here add scenario let's call this scenario circular surface and then add another scenario or maybe duplicate this scenario let's say first duplicate scenario and then I'm gonna call this a non circular surface so for the circular surface, I'm going to go to the surface and the, our failure surface, I want it circular, auto refine search and click OK. For the non-circular one, I can go to surface and I choose non-circular, Google search. OK, there are many options, but I, I'm going to choose for this analysis, Google search. Click OK. So now we are ready to go to the final step which is um, defining or estimating the factor of safety before that we can see that the limit of uh, the critical step surface is not correct so we can move it by right click on it and choose this like that or we can right click again and define the limits and we choose second set of limits so now we have two here and uh, two at the at the up, upstream and two at downstream. Okay, or we can just have um, we can just have one set instead of second set. I'm just gonna put it all the way to the top here, and this one all the way to the bottom. Same thing here. Okay, and then click on run before that let's let's to go again to the model so we have circular slip surface and here non-circular let's see 
the factor of safety for both these cases we can click on this icon save and run both scenarios it's going to take a few seconds it's not a complicated model so uh, the analysis i think it's done yep and we click on interpret icon to see the results we wait a few seconds and now it's opening so we see that the circular surface we have 0.8 as a factor of safety for non-circular we always get lower factor of safety we can uh, make the factor of safety like larger than this by going to this here or we can make it actually after two decimal one decimal uh, let's make it one same thing here and then we go to here and no, click on font and just make it larger the larger the better okay we can create another scenario actually let's close this and go save and go here let's create another scenario duplicate scenario and in this scenario let's delete uh, the water table let's go dry let's delete this okay so this is exactly the same scenario as non-circular so it's non-circular but dry and rerun the analysis again only for this because this is already solved it's gonna take a few seconds I expect the factor of safety here is of course gonna be higher because there is no water the water is gonna generate more water pressure based on the effective stress effective stress equal to total stress minus pore water pressure so without pore water pressure we have higher effective stress right or we have total stress we don't have any effective stress total stress in this case equal to the effective stress so there's no reduction in the stresses so that's why we have higher factor of safety here if we click on font 36 so you see here we have 1.29 in this scenario we have 0.7 here and we have 0.8 so the lowest factor of safety when we have non-circular surface slip surface and it goes through the weak material and when it's also wet we can uh, customize this by adding axes for example here we can customize these axes as well okay you can add factor safety including all the methods that you used we use three different methods you can notice that in this in this case in this specific model the lowest factor safety we got is from jumbo simplified we can also add the material property tables by clicking on this icon here if there's seepage analysis you can actually also uh, create another table for the hydric property of the material from here we can customize this table as well by clicking on edit table and you can show or activate or unactivate anything you want from here okay you can make it small um, you can customize it the way you want It's too big. Let's make it small. 
you can take a screenshot or you can export it as a report I will leave this up to you you can show all the slip surface but here in the program it's showing only the most critical one that gives the lowest factor of safety okay you can make this line actually thicker by increasing this one here so you can see the critical slip surface here we can show all the surfaces by clicking on this icon so this is actually showing now all the factor of safety all the critical slip surfaces with different value of the factor of safety and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks bye